Welcome to Art and Aesthetics. I want to give you a quick overview of some of the things you need to be aware of as you navigate through this course. So the first thing is that on this news section I will constantly be posting reminders, updates, perhaps little reviews of um, what's happened in assignments etc. So please ensure that you always read whatever is uh, showing on the news and if you ever have read something and you want to dismiss it and no longer see it you can then click on this little X and it will remove it from your news feed so that you can remain up to date. The most important thing to do is always go into content. Content is really what gets us into our table of contents. So there is a welcome quick information page that I've posted just for for your first reading uh, but then what we do is we want to start going from the beginning and what I've done is I have included some tutorial pages on DC Connect just for anyone who's never used it before it is a learning curve and with online learning what happens is you spend a lot of time learning about the content but you also have to figure out how the computer works and, and the online learning system. So I hope that you take a moment just to go through this, especially if this is your first time. And the way I've set this course up is that every time you want to change the page you click on this next button and it will allow you to go from page to page. But if at any time you want to return back to the table of contents you just click here and you can return. Alright so week one is open from the very beginning so what you would do is you click on week one welcome and then you would start at the very top just click the very first link alright and it starts giving you information about the course and you can scroll down to read it. Then again go to the next button and continue scrolling through. Now if anything doesn't work, for example I've made a little prezi just to show you some of a uh, little bit about me. If anything doesn't work, uh, it probably has something to do with your browser settings. Uh, so without getting too complicated, what I usually suggest is just try it in another browser. So if you're in Firefox, try opening an Explorer or vice versa. Uh, Chrome seems to be a little bit finicky so I I don't use Chrome but if you are using it and you're having troubles then try a different browser again the next button ensures that you don't miss anything so the PDF files do take a little while to load but as you can see as you next from page to page and scroll up and down you get all the information that you need it's a little, I've included a quiz here, not for marks, but an opportunity for you to test your understanding. Um, some online learning tips that I've got from other students from past courses. What you're going to do is you're going to post a getting to know you so that we all get to know each other in this course. I'm a strong believer in us working as a community together. Sorry, this has got a 2012 date, but I will be updating it before the class starts. Um, I, I really want to foster a sense of community that we get to know each other. So please make sure that you post your, your introductions. Any questions go on the general questions board. You push compose to start. Any assignment questions or something for grades. I always check this uh, discussion board first because I presume this is where people are getting anxious and stressed and they're going help. So I always make sure I check this one as, as much as possible. Uh, so you would press compose. You would, sorry let me get it into the screen. You would put a subject, type in your uh, little message and then uh, they make this a very long window. You would click post and it'll pop up and I can see it and your your uh, peers can see it. So this is the screen I was looking for to show you. You know you've got to the end of the unit because it says next week. So everything that's due and happening that week will happen before this page. So if there's an assignment or a discussion I will actually have it within this. So as long as you press previous or next and remain within the week you will not miss anything guaranteed. Okay. If you're looking for the discussion boards outside of the week by week, under communication, you can find discussions. You can also find the class lit list where you can see who's in your class and the email function. Under assessments, you'll find the drop box 
which has, and again, this is uh, needs to be updated, but it has uh, lists out all the uh, assignments that are due. And if you go to your grades, you can keep up to date with how you're doing. So I'm super excited to have you in this course. I am daily on my computer checking up what's going on and I can't wait to get to meet you. Have a great time learning.